Can you beat Kingdom Rush Origins with only mages? Almost every enemy in this game is resistant to magic, but let's see if it's possible to do solo. The rules are simple. I can't place druids, barracks, or archers. No gem shop because it's OP, and I have to sell pre-placed towers if possible. But let's get into it. Level 1 is a nice introduction level, feeding us easy enemies and granting us reinforcements, a hero, and the powers of Zeus Almighty to slaughter enemies. The enemies are all really easy, and since I get so much money, I got a tower on every square. The next couple of levels are again pretty easy since we just barely begun, but level 3 was quite annoying because of the wolves. They swim past soldiers, so my natural instinct to block them with reinforcements really didn't help me at all. Level 4 is really where the carnage began. Even though I had Ewoks throwing spears from above, I had to face giant two-headed beasts who rapidly regenerate health, and these old hags who have high magic resistance. Since my wizards were doing almost nothing against the hags, I would have to use a combination of my hero, reinforcements, and spells to take them down. And when there were several in each wave, they got super overwhelming. It also didn't help that new paths kept getting added, so I kept having to change up my defense, keeping me constantly on my toes. The hags remained the biggest problem in the next level, with nothing getting by my defense except for the three old ladies. Since I also haven't unlocked a tier 4 tower yet, I was able to max out my defense very early and started racking up money, so by the end I had several thousand dollars left over that couldn't be spent. Thankfully, that problem was solved in the next stage when I unlocked the wild mages. She's almost like an archer in the way she rapid fires low damage bolts at the enemies. She also has one of the most cracked abilities in the game, Eldritch Doom. It instantly kills enemies and causes explosion damage to the enemies around it. I didn't realize this at the time, but it would eventually save me in later levels. The level itself was pretty easy because I had tier 4 towers. Even the boss just got shredded because of the constant damage I was dealing. With the first type of area down, I now move into the fungal area and get introduced to the bane of my existence, spiders. The hoplites are all easy to kill as they're armored up and perfect for wizards, but the spiders have high magic resistance meaning my towers do about zero damage. There are also these annoying yellow dots that transport enemies from across the map right next to the end and makes them invulnerable the entire time. It's really an awful level and I lost 9 lives. The next level could have been really bad, but thankfully I came up with a good strategy beforehand. One of the main problems among other enemies are the glooms. These guys start in a small pack before starting to multiply at alarming rates. So to combat this, I put my hero at the very front along with a level 4 wizard to take them out before they can clone. I haven't got an achievement for this. Besides those annoying enemies, there are also some paths that lead directly to the exit, which is just fantastic. And to top it all off, there are these giant porcupines. They have thousands of health and possibly one of the fastest speeds in the game, which is not a fun combo. I'd use my hero and reinforcements to stall him, and even a spell was nowhere near enough to kill him. Honestly, I'd say he's harder than the hyena boss, which isn't saying much, but since there are more than 6 of them in this level, it was a hard fought battle. If you're enjoying and want to see challenges like this every Monday, then make sure to subscribe. Thank you. The next level unlocks the other tier 4 mage tower, and is honestly just beautiful. Out of all the Kingdom Rush games, this one has by far the best backgrounds. They look beautiful, and almost all of them have some kind of reference. From Ewoks, to Lord of the Rings, to Obelix, a character from a famous French cartoon, this game has it all. Each environment is unique and cool, and I love all the little easter eggs. I usually don't like the levels adding new paths halfway through, but in this level, the dragon living in the lake destroys some crystals which made it kind of okay because at least it made some kind of sense, and the wood doesn't magically disappear. But getting back to the towers, the high elven mage is very similar to the level 3 tower shooting multiple magic bolts at a time and doing huge damage. I do think his abilities are really cool which is why I started using him a ton. One of them spawns an extra orb drone that follows enemies and rains death upon them and the other transmits up to 4 enemies into the back rooms for 5 seconds letting them take 150 damage before returning. They look sleek and futuristic and work well enough for now. I still had a rough time with these big balls, but every other enemy went down pretty easily. There are two more levels in these mystical woods, but they are both exactly the same. I leaked a couple of lives and two star the levels. I want to get into the terrible headbanging levels though, so let's ascend into the sky. Every game has a final boss, and unfortunately for Origins, the final boss is a spider, which means that he spawns a ridiculous amount of spiders that I have to kill somehow. 
In the first level alone, I leaked 13 lives, mostly to these little spiders. Along with most of the enemies being nearly immune to my only tower, there are also these teleporters that take enemies in the beginning and put them right at the end, which is eerily similar to the yellow diamonds, but who cares. The next level was just filled to the brim with the teleporters, and it made it very confusing as I had no idea where enemies were going. I had pre-placed reinforcements then have to scramble when they teleported a different way. There were even more hordes of spiders in this level, and to go along with it, there were giant purple golems. While they do look aesthetically pleasing, they have an enormous amount of health and take a millennia to kill, requiring full attention for my reinforcements and tower. They aren't too strong, but it does take away resources that could be attacking other groups. Thankfully, the lighting storm is so powerful and recharges fast enough that I can use it on every big wave, but things got sketchy. The next level is second to last and almost made me lose my mind. So far in this challenge, I haven't lost a level more than once but I lost at least six times and spent hours banging my head against the wall. Almost every enemy in this level is some kind of spider. Most of the variants aren't too bad, except for the Macton Sun. These guys have way too much health and just climb down onto random parts of the map. They come in overwhelming numbers and just when you thought you were done with them, JK, here's 10 more. All of my attempts ended either on levels 9, 14, or 15. Starting off with level 9, it spawns probably 30 of these offspring, and I get overwhelmed. I use my lightning storm, but they just keep coming and keep leaking lives. After my first loss, I decided to go through and complete 3 iron and heroic challenges to get the last upgrade on the lightning storm. After that, I had every star upgrade, but I also decided to take the hero Katha instead of Raz and Rags. I leveled up Raz and Rags to level 10, but having only one guy was inefficient. Katha can spawn 4 clones to fight, which takes up more spiders. So I figured that would help more, even if she's only level 8. I lost several more times, but here's what finally worked. The first step is to throw high oven mages in the trash. We need the insta-kill potential that the wild mages gives. Then I would build wild mages in every square and upgrade their eldritch doom one time. Upgrading it only gives more explosion damage, but being able to insta-kill more enemies is a much better use of our money. By level 9, I have about half the map filled with them, and made sure to split reinforcements and my hero between the two exits. I then used my lightning storm early so that in the final group of the spiders I could call the next wave early to restore the cooldown and use it again. On my best attempt, I only lost 6 lives. I got a tier 4 mage on every square and then just started to fully upgrade every tower. I used my reinforcements and spells well, and even managed to 2 star the level, which felt good. I didn't have any star upgrades, but I did have a new hero to bring into the mix. I used all my knowledge from the previous level and copy and pasted my strategy into the next. With all my insta kills and strategic skill I had built up, I made it all the way to the boss on my first attempt and it ended like this. I was about to scream at my phone because I was so close to killing him and now I have to spend another 20 to 30 minutes getting back there. To finally kill him, I just had to forget about anything else and focus all of my firepower on the boss. I can tank the other spiders, so I sent my hero, reinforcements, and all of my spells right at him to finally explode the spiders and beat this game with only wizards. Thanks for watching, and make sure to subscribe and comment if you have any video ideas. Have a great day.